In this video, we'll be testing this Coleman 4-person instant tent for its ease of setup, takedown, spaciousness, comfort, and more. I bought this Coleman 4-person instant tent from Amazon and here's what it looks like out of the box. Inside the package, I got just the tent body with pre-attached poles and guidelines and 8 stakes in a carry case. I had to buy the Rainfly separately, which comes with another 4 stakes. I put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. To set up this 4 person instant tent, first unfold the tent flat on the ground except for this central hub here. Then pull the 4 elbow joints outwards until they're propped up like this and after that, extend all 4 poles upward until the button of each pole pops out. Then drape the Rainfly over the tent and clip the 4 extended tips of the Rainfly just below this instant tent sticker here. To tighten and secure the rainfly, just pull on the strap in front. Finally, stake down the tent body with four stakes and guy out the tent with the four pre-attached guy lines on the rainfly. It took me about four and a half minutes to set up the entire Coleman four-person instant tent, including staking and guying out the entire tent. To take down this Coleman instant tent, first remove all the guy line stakes as well as the rainfly by undoing these clips. To take down the tent body, just press on this button on each of the poles and push down on all the poles to retract them. After that, push the elbow joints inwards and fold all the poles back towards the center hub. Then place the center hub horizontally on the ground and roll the rest of the tent fabric together. Finally, put it back into the carry bag and zip it up. It took me about 5 minutes to take down and pack out the entire Coleman 4 person instant tent back into the carry bag without ripping off this strip for additional space as well as to pack up the rainfly back into its original carry case as well. For more details on the setup, take down and pack up, I have this separate video on my channel. The peak height inside this Coleman 4 person instant tent is about 61 inches which is slightly shorter than my height so my head presses against the roof when I try to stand upright. The lowest height in the tent at the four corners is about 50 inches and here's what it looks like when I try to stand in the corners. The side walls of this 4 person instant tent are somewhat almost vertical which gives it a nice cabin shape as well as quite a bit of livable space inside the tent so I can freely stretch my arms out. The length of this Coleman 4 person instant tent is about 7 feet and 11 inches while the width measures just about 7 feet so only 1 inch smaller than the marketed dimensions in length. This 4 person instant tent fits 4 regular sleeping pads and here's what 2 double sleeping pads look like inside the tent. It fits just nicely with no leftover space at all and you do have to sleep shoulder to shoulder. I found it quite annoying to sleep at the corners though. I couldn't put anything in this pocket while sleeping because otherwise it keeps brushing against my body. Also, my head would touch the wall of the tent when I sit up. Instead of four pads, you can fit just one queen-sized camping mattress and here's what the queen looks like inside the tent. There's plenty of room for two people to sleep inside this tent plus lots of leftover space for camping gear as well. Also, even though my queen mattress is quite thick at about 9 inches, I could still almost stand up while on the mattress and I had plenty of livable space left over as well. There are a total of 4 windows in this Coleman 4 person instant tent, one big window here, two smaller windows together, another big window here, and no windows on this last wall. Each big window measures about 52 by 28 inches, while each small window measures about 24 by 22 inches. All these windows have two metal zippers each. There's no latch for each window but you can tuck the fabric neatly like this. This also makes it easy to zip up each window without any fumbling. When the windows are open, there's a bug net to prevent larger bugs from getting in. There's only one door on the front length of this Coleman 4 person instant tent which comes with two metal zippers. I had no issues zipping this door open and close whether from the outside or the inside. To hold the door open, there are two latches here by the side. This single door measures about 37 inches in width and 45 inches in length, so not very big in size. It's about 48 inches from the ground to the top of the door, so I had to duck quite a bit when getting in and out of the tent through this door. For storage, there are two pockets inside this Coleman 4 person instant tent, each measuring about 9 by 7 inches. There's also one loop at the top of the center of the tent where you can hang a lantern for lighting at night. Besides this, there are no other loops for gear lofts or for other storage, and there are no e-ports as well. I put this Coleman 4 person instant tent through really light rain and it stayed dry when the rain stopped 15 minutes later. But even in light rain, I found that water will get into your tent through the windows if you leave them open. 
For example, here are the windows at the front of the tent, and here's where the rain is dripping. Anything below this will get wet even in light rain. When I tested this Coleman Instant Tent through heavy rain using this water hose, the windows got completely soaked within the first couple of minutes. After 15 minutes of this heavy rain, I found quite a bit of leaking from the seam connecting the buffed up flooring to the black tent fabric which was not seam taped and instead inverted and from this pocket as well. This black fabric here was damp after just 15 minutes of heavy rain and even the rain fly was slightly damp. The brown fabric near the top was still dry though because it's more protected than the black fabric. For a little more detail on this rain test, you can check out this short video on my channel. On a hot day without the rain fly, this Coleman 4 Prison Instant Tent has quite a bit of ventilation. The windows are quite big, although I'm not sure why there's no mesh on this wall here. There's also a small vent here at the top of the tent that measures about 24 by 5 inches. There's no ceiling mesh though. On a rainy day though, you'd need to use the rain fly which will cover the vent at the top. And you'd need to close all the windows as well or tons of water will get into your tent. So on a rainy day, ventilation is limited. The main tent body of this Coleman 4 person instant tent is made of 150D polyester taffeta and the flooring is made of polyethylene. It has a buffed up feature which extends up to about 4 inches and is super useful when there's light flooding. I checked all the seams in the tent and found that most of them were taped except for the seam connecting the black fabric to the bathtub flooring. The double stitching was consistent and pretty good quality with only the occasional loose thread. The holes of the mesh are too big to be no seam so it's just regular mesh but the quality of the mesh was consistent throughout. The zippers are decent quality and all of them are catch free both the doors and windows. When zipping the door up from the inside, push the door out at the same time. When zipping the door up from the outside, lift the rain cover thing when zipping. All the poles in this 4 person instant tent are made of alloy steel, all are pre-attached along with these plastic pole clips, making for an easy setup and a somewhat sturdy tent if you guy it out. The guidelines don't seem to be reflective at night though. This Coleman 4 person instant tent has a packed size of 40 by 11 by 8 inches. For a size comparison, here's what it looks like beside a Coleman 2 person sun dome tent, the separate rain fly as well as a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. Like all other instant tents, it's pretty long so there are two additional buckles on the carry bag. This is what it looks like beside a 4 person Coleman tent without the pre-attached poles. The 4 person instant tent weighs 18 pounds with the 8 stakes and the rain fly with the included 4 stakes weighs another 2 pounds. For pros, I found this Coleman 4 person instant tent super easy to set up, taking me just 4.5 minutes, and this includes staking and guiding out the entire tent. The takedown was very easy as well, taking me just 5 minutes, and I was able to get the entire tent back into the carry bag without even having to expand the bag. I also liked that the almost vertical sidewalls and cabin shape of this tent gave me lots of livable space to not only stand up, stretch my arms out, but lounge around as well. There's also quite a bit of ventilation on hot days with 4 windows in total and 1 small vent. Also, like most Coleman products, the quality is good from the stitching, mesh, zippers and poles and this particular Coleman tent is even complete with double thick fabric. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button, thank you and I really appreciate it. As for cons, I think the biggest one is that it doesn't offer much water protection. The bathtub flooring seam is not taped, the mesh gets damp easily, and the rain fly is super tiny. Also, there's minimal ventilation when it's raining because you can't open any of the windows. Another big con is that you have to buy the rain fly separately and that's an additional cost of about 30 bucks. That's how much I paid for mine, I think. I just found it super strange that it doesn't come with the rain fly. A smaller con is that the door isn't very big at all. And finally, here are my recommendations. If you're sold on this tent, check out the price difference between this 4 person tent and the 6 person version. If you don't have to pay much more, I'd highly recommend the 6 person tent instead because you can stand up in it and there are windows on all 4 walls, so more ventilation. Next, if you expect heavy rains, I don't think this tent will be that great a pick. It's more of a summer tent with lots of ventilation. But if you still want it, I'd highly recommend that you use a sealant, especially for this seam, and lots of waterproofing spray for not only the black tent fabric, but for the rain fly as well. Also, I think this tent is great for two people, just a queen-sized bed with lots of leftover room. Four people will definitely not be comfortable. 
Finally, how does this Coleman four-person instant tent compare to other Coleman tents or instant tents? Don't worry because I've already done the comparison for you in these videos. I'll put them up when you're ready, so do check those out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.